Hi guys, let's go ahead with the modeling of the uh, back of uh, the car and uh, also we uh, are going to see how modeling uh, the pillar but before to do that uh, we have to create a new geometry for the back of the car with the extrusion tool We have to follow this cut line for the trunk. And also, I would create uh, more space for the uh, next uh, edge loop that we will use for the fender. Uh, line reference we can put uh, an age loop uh, here and now we have the age loop for the fender line reference We have to create more geometry here with the extrude tool. And also we have to follow better this reference line. and uh, this line for the trunk cut probably we have to snap and merge some vertex in this part to get uh, a better fender uh, line We have to place uh, this point in uh, top view We can put this point uh, here And the same thing for these points. We have to improve the topology
can get more space in uh, this part to improve the topology we have to create the base uh, for the bridge tool here we can uh, uh, snap and merge some vertex we can select this and merge here and the same thing for these points and uh, we have to do the same thing uh, for this vertex here and now we can snap and merge all these uh, points and now we can get more space for the base uh, of the bridge tool can move this a little bit all right <clears throat> and also we have to uh, move some vertex in uh, the top view because we moved uh, them uh, by mistake and uh, we have to do it again and also we can follow this line for the back fender And now we have to add the tail for the front door to create the base for the bridge tool. We can 
add in age group year and now we can select this age and uh, this age and we can use uh, the bridge tool with uh, the smooth path and uh, 10 divisions And now we have to place all these points in side view. We can put this vertex here and this here And uh, we have to check the model in the top view. Probably we have to add other age loop uh, to uh, get uh, a more uh, smoothness surface. We can put this vertex here and uh, I think that we can delete uh, all these phases and now we have to check this point uh, in uh, the side view we can take it uh, here and now we have to place better some points And also we have to add uh, an age group uh, here with the relative distance and the uh, age flow option. Another age group we can put here.
right? And now we can add uh, an age loop uh, uh, inside of the of the pillar. And also we have to move this point in side view. You have to follow this reference line. And now in the top view, we have to do the same thing. Right. Now we have uh, to uh, use the bridge tool again to connect these edges. We can select uh, all these edges and we can go in uh, uh, bridge tool uh, option and we have to choose uh, one division with the linear path We can delete this edge All right, that's all for now Thank you for watching, see you in the next lesson